Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Dr. Zainab. I've had several students ask me if I can send them an ACT trial so that they can have a look at it and so that they can get a feel of the actual exam. Well, actually, I'm going to show you something. On the official exam uh, ACT site website, you can see that they will give you a computer-based practice test. Um, you can do this test with timing and you can do it without the timing. And this will help you to get a feel of the exam because it will show you that um, it will show you how the exam is set up because the actual exam is actually um, computer based. So you can see what the computer based exam will actually look at look like and you can see actually the different tools that you can uh, use. So this is what the actual exam will look like. And it will tell you that the first section is the English section. You have 45 minutes to do it. There are directions. And then you're going to you're going to press next. At the um, upper right hand corner, you're going to have a timer. This will tell you how much time you have left. And you have uh, here some tools where you can that you can use first of all you have a magnifier and this will help you to um, see what is written it's gonna magnify what's written um, also you have a highlighter and this highlighter allows you to actually highlight parts of the text if you need to and you also have um, a um, line reader and a line reader helps you to focus just on one line so that your eyes can focus on exactly what is written within the screen. OK, so that those are some of the tools that you have um, and you can clear the highlighting. Also, you can um, make the writing bigger and you can make it smaller. All right. And here at the bottom, you have the numbers of the questions. So you can see this is num question number one. It's going to be highlighted, and you get to choose the answer choice that you see is correct. All right. If there's a question you want to skip, you can flag it and so that you don't re forget that you skipped that one question. And you can move from the questions. You don't have to move in order. You can move in whatever order that you want. You can also have a look at the whole uh, list of questions if you want to. This is the instructions. This is the info information. Um, and there is, um, so you are able to navigate throughout all of the different questions. If you want to look at what you flagged, you can go back to the question that you flagged so that you can look at um, the questions. So you have here all the different questions that you did. It'll tell you if you answered them or not. It'll tell you if you flagged the questions or not. So this is really useful so that you don't skip any of the questions. Um, and the timer will always be there so that you can know how much time you have left on the exam. Once you are done, um, you can uh, press end the section over here. And if the time is over, the screen will close and you will not be able to go to any other section. All right. It'll tell you if you have any un unanswered questions left. And if you have any questions that are flagged, make sure that you answer all the questions. Don't skip any of the questions because you have a, a one in four chance to get an answer correct. All right. Good luck.